My name is Jeff Durler. I'm senior pastor of LifeSpring Community Christian Church in Harrison, Ohio. When we were looking for a partner in the construction of our new facility, we came across BGW, Building God's Way. And one of the things that really impressed us about BGW was what they called Ministry of Construction. We didn't know what that was. Uh, and they, they explained to us a lot of times churches will be involved at the beginning of the process with the groundbreaking and then at the end of the process with ribbon cutting. But there's not a lot that church members do in between. On the contrary, with BGW, we're actually, we actually signed a contract saying we will be involved in ministering to the workers. And we just got jazzed up about that. We just got excited about that. And our congregation did too. So I remember when we were constructing the community commons, I remember uh, coming down here when, we, when it was just a field and we prayed over the place. I remember coming here and writing with markers, prayers and scriptures and messages to the contractors and the workers who were going to be here working while it was under construction. And man, our people just came alongside and poured out donuts and coffee and tool giveaways. And we came alongside and we built friendships with the workers who were here. Weaver Construction, our builder, was phenomenal because they came alongside and said, how can we help you guys be present? We weren't seen as an annoyance or an inconvenience getting in the way here. On the contrary, we were working together to love these folks and introduce them to the amazing God that we serve. Well, afterwards, we, we knew we may not ever hear the stories, but we were confident God was working. After we moved into the new facility, and uh, I, I got a call about a month after we started, and it was from a guy, he said, hey, my name is Jason, and I'm interested in learning more about the church and considering visiting. It just so happened that week we were speaking on marriage and divorce. And I told him as a heads up, hey, we're, we just teach what Jesus taught and talk about how to apply it to our lives. And we're gonna be talking about marriage and divorce. And he also touches on hell a little bit. And, uh, and he said, well, that's perfect because I am divorced, but my wife and I are working on possibly getting back together. And we knew, we know we can't do it without God and we know we need a church. And when I thought about a church to go to, I thought about the church that I worked at when it was being built. He was one of those guys that we prayed for. He was one of those guys that we wrote messages to. We just didn't know it. Well, Jason has uh, been coming with his ex-wife and they've been working on their relationship. And just this past week, I, I pulled them both aside and I said, where, do you, where are you guys at spiritually? And they said, he, he said, well, I think she's a little farther ahead than me, but we're both walking towards Jesus. And their story is a continuing story. And I can't wait to see how it plays out, not just with their faith, but also with their marriage and their family. Ministry of Construction made that a reality. It was partnering together, uh, uh, an architect with a vision to see God's kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven through not just the product of construction, but the process of construction and a builder that embraced and empowered us to come alongside as a church and love on these folks as they were here working and then uh, just the Spirit of God moved.